Hi guys, V here from VTO Gaming, and we're back in Extinction Mode on Call of Duty Ghosts. This is the Nightfall map, and this is our third episode. If you haven't watched the previous ones, I would advise you go back and do so. But if you're just looking for your way into the facility, and how to get through the facility, then we'll see how we can get on. See if we can see anything secret here. There we go, there's one. Now we do know... There could be a rhino coming that way, so we'll drop the sentry gun right there first. It's just one of those things you pick up from playing the map. I heard a voice drop the gun here. On the radio. It sounded like this looks useful. But it couldn't be. Archer's dead. Right? If he's still alive, he'll be coming for me. Get to our pistol quickly. And we'll do a quick look before we bring the drill down here. I'm not seeing anything good. There are, as I say, various lockers dotted about. I can put this to use. Pointless ammo. Oh, we don't want to be buying that. Take that for the Maverick. Quite a nice rifle there. But we'll stick to the loadout we've got. This is part of the lore that we may explain after this part of the series. You might go and watch some of the cutscenes if we've got time. If you guys want to see them, just leave a comment. Currently have 11 out of 13 of the intel pieces unlocked. The last two we're waiting on just come from those little boxes. Okay, so there is the next hive. Before we get that, we'll bring our sentry gun up. When you're playing solo, there is a fair amount of this back and forth and back and forth to get your stuff positioned correctly. Another junk with ACOG. Position this deep in the corner. And we'll kick it off. Let's go. Hypno knife, excellent. Now if we can find one of our little teleporting friends, he can be hypno knife, and he becomes a very good ally. But more important than that, at this stage, is if you electrocute that, the top framing there becomes a big electric trap. Here's the second part. Electric trap is live. Now why is our sentry gun not killing things? Because it's already dead. Okay. As you can see, they're falling down there. And just being zapped. Scorpions incoming. Target down. Gotta love it. Repair the drill. I didn't realise it was quite as low. Spend a point on the ammo. Nice collection of lockers here. Yet again, we still can't find a key, so I can't show you guys that. Take a wee quick run round. Activate the traps. This one will be running out in a second. Come on. Right, where's the hunter?
I'm not seeing our little teleporting friend. There is every chance that he's landed up there and just died very quickly. Why are they attacking the drill? Do they know how inconvenient that is when they're attacking the drill? I'm trying to loot stuff. Take the sentry gun, position it here. So when we pick up the drill, should be covering us. Scorpions! Right. If our sentry gun kills him, we don't get the credit for it for some reason. And that was him. Ah. Oh, we got him. That's a rare change. Traps on that corner. Since we have plenty of cash, we'll just put the other sentry gun here. That one will be dead soon enough, anyway. On the rare chance that you don't get this, is one of your active hives. It's important that you come and check this room anyway, because there's another secret weapon hidden inside. It doesn't take up one of your weapon slots. And comes in very handy against the bosses. Nope, he got us. Alright, so we'll just drop another sentry gun right here. Angle that slightly better so the two sentry guns can cover each other. And this was the technique I was talking about the last time when I said we were going to equip the sentry guns. If you position them opposite each other, they cover each other's back. One of the problems you find when you have a single sentry gun, single scout jumps on top of it and renders it useless until it's gone. Activate that one and we'll go a little run, try and loot some stuff. Semtex grenades. The one in the corner? Nope. What about up here? Anything hiding from us? Looting like this is slightly more difficult when doing it solo because you have to watch the sentry guns, the drill, all sorts of stuff. When you're in a team, just try and share this kind of loot out, guys. As you can see, there's plenty for everyone. I don't know how many scopes we've ignored in this playthrough. Burst fire, rapid fire. Great, I can use this. We already have the hypno knife, we don't want anything else at the moment. Okay. So as I'd said, secret weapon, the Venom X. 
only holds two ammunition and two magazines. What you do is fire and then detonate. And the way you get more ammunition is you kill scorpions. We'll go up and destroy this one first. It's a dead end hive. And I'll try and demonstrate. Kill the three marked before the hive is destroyed. So where are the marked ones? Right. There's one. Boom. Oh well. Because we already have our primary skills maxed, I'm not too worried about that. Put the sentry gun down. Get out the way! Right, shield's destroyed. I'm gonna place this one right here. Now, the question is, can we get the teleporter to come down and get us here? Come on. Doesn't look like he wants to cooperate. We got him. Hitting him with a hypno knife. He now becomes our ally. And he's pretty effective. Because he can teleport, he can go up and take out the scorpions that keep running around. Trying to evade our sentry gun. Oh, that's our friend. Zap. Electric trap online. Zap. Electric trap set. And that would be the ammo for the Venom X that we were talking about. Reload that while we have a moment. Oh, right now. Got to love an LMG to rapid fire. What are you doing over there? Hunters! Choo, choo. <laughs> Got to love our new pet. Hello. Okay, we'll save the three skill points and max out our actual specialization. Oh, right. And it disappeared again before I could show you. It's teasing me, guys. It's teasing me. Kill 15 aliens right there. Alright, let's see if we can actually find 15 aliens well prone. Scorpions are messing us up here. And prone's blocked. Thanks, Cod. Blocked again. Right 
There we go, done. Sentry gun. Can we get the venom out? There we go. Venom armor. I know things seem a bit hectic guys, but this is just the way Extinction Mode gets. As I've said previously, the levels scale depending on the amount of players who are in it. Now this is me playing it solo, so imagine this with four times the amount of mobs. And that's the kind of experience you and three of your friends would have. Coming out of the walls, man! Here we go, Matt. Right here. Don't do it. Let me do it instead. That's not very nice. Let's see if we have time for this last hive, guys. We're not going to pick that up because we stick to explosive ammo. No, many sentry guns do we still have down? Did we get it? No, still there. There we go, he's dead. Surely that counted. Nope. Still not counting. Right, we'll switch to the big gun. Get off of there. Watch this, no doubt we'll go to this side and they'll start coming from the other. Doesn't want to play ball. Target 
Did we get him? Nope. Got him. Need those sentry guns to run out so I can place fresh ones up here. Plum will do it. Okay guys, I'm going to get down here quickly because that's the end of this vid. I've been v VTO Gaming and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks guys, take care.